What is going on, PlayStation followers? It is your boy TKD, one to the aka Kevin here, and today we have an article that I think is very, very telling of PlayStation's future. Now, to get the full grasp of the story, let's take it all the way back to around February, early February, when I published a video here on the channel that was detailing the leaving of Kaz Harai from PlayStation. Although very sad to see Kaz Harai go, his successor Yoshida had a lot of comments to say about what his plans are for the company moving forward. One of his main comments were, quote, my first priority will be to finalize our next mid-range corporate plan starting in April, together with our immediate business plan for the fiscal year 2018, and then move ahead swiftly with implementation. This new plan for the future was said to have a lot of things doing with management to have a better overall company. And not just that, the plan was also set to make sure that future moves go swiftly and go as planned. Now in that video, I speculated a lot as to what these plans were and what they were telling. We talked a lot in the comments as well, down in that video as well. And during that time, I thought that it was going to be a response towards the Xbox Live Game Pass, where that was a really good business model and everything for Xbox and everything and maybe they were looking at having a way to somehow compete with that but I think this latest article definitely has our answer for us. As April 1st approaches the big day where all the changes are supposed to be set in motion and the plan is supposed to be set in stone they have taken a moment to officially reintroduce and recommit to a big thing that a lot of people are talking about in the game industry and that is first party franchises. It is said that Sean Layan who will act as a chairman of World War Studios for Sony will quote concentrate his focus on providing platform defining content for the company along with that they have a quote mission to create and develop the most attractive and powerful first party titles has become more important than ever and really you know reading through this article and seeing it on my feed I did find it a little bit odd that they would be saying this just because you know when you think of PlayStation you think of their exclusive you think of Last of Us you think of Uncharted you think of Horizon Zero Dawn you think of Killzone you think of all of their massive massive huge exclusives on the platform and you know one would assume that yeah Sony definitely has an emphasis and definitely has a focus on those first party titles and those mainstay staples of their brand and that are their big franchises because you know in my opinion I feel like they also have the same opinion as well this is just me speaking off the cuff and it's that you know when you have a console right one of the if not the most important thing to that console is the exclusives you know you will get your third party games and everyone else will get the third party games everyone will get that you know what i'm saying and on top of you know important things like features on top of important things like by compatibility if you're going to have it on your console i think the biggest thing to have is the games at the end of the day these are game consoles and if you don't have games that are exclusives that are going to sell your console to the highest degree than what playstation has done throughout years and years that they've been around then you do not have a successful console all that aside the company also believes that these changes will help it to quote remain the leader in the consistently evolving business environment and it's clear with big exclusive games like God of War, Spider-Man, Detroit Become Human, and Days Gone is that Sony and PlayStation definitely do care about having exclusive and definitely do care about the quality of their exclusives. And that's very important here. It looks like they will not be changing their pace here moving forward after April 1st when all these changes to management and changes to all the company across the entire echelon of PlayStation uh, comes to fruition on April 1st. So that's been my time here on this video. Make sure to let me know down in those comments below. What is your favorite PlayStation exclusive? Are you relieved to hear this news coming out of PlayStation? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. And make sure also while you are down there to check out our description where you can find our Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the good stuff where you can find us in there. Actually, we don't have a Snapchat. Should we make a Snapchat? Let me know in those comments below. You know what? Comment keyword of the video for today. You know what? Comment down below Snapchat. Let me know what you want our Snapchat to be. What do you want to see on the Snapchat if we make one? Who knows? Let me know down in those comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it as well and make sure to say subscribe for all of the latest and greatest in playstation you know what if this video gets 250 to 500 likes i will make a snapchat for psf i'll make a snapchat i'll do it i'll do it right now well not right now when we hit the like goal but uh beside the point thank you all for watching and as always keep on following